hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be discussing about career progression in the uk as a healthcare assistant worker okay guys a lot of people don't know that you can actually progress from being a healthcare worker to being a nursing associate then finally a registered nurse in the uk fully funded without paying a dime okay guys yes it is possible so definitely in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you how you can actually progress in your career as being a healthcare assistant to being a registered nurse in the uk i'll also wrap it up by sharing benefits of working in the health and care sector okay so guys definitely this video is going to worth it so if you are planning to come to the uk as a healthcare assistant from overseas or a nurse or whichever health profession then this video is for you okay you would definitely love to watch it to the end so that you will get to see how you can progress in your career and how you can finally and all the benefits you're going to get working as a health worker in the uk okay guys this information i'm giving it out free of charge you are not paying a dime to get this information so guys don't forget to like this video so that youtube will tend to push it out so that many people can get to see this video and see the benefits that await them coming to the uk as a healthcare assistant and it will also encourage you you know to put more effort in your job application so that very soon you will land that your dream job and get your certificate of sponsorship so guys without further delay let's go straight into today there are different ways through which you can actually progress in your career from being a healthcare assistant to being a registered nurse in the uk so one of them is what they call the degree level nursing apprenticeship okay guys basically this program allows you to become a registered nurse after you must have completed this program okay it lasts for a period of four years actually in this program is your employer that are going to register you with the nursing and midwifery council you know approved education providers that are going to train you of course your employers will be the one that will register you so definitely it's going to be a part-time program okay and then you will be working so anytime you don't have shift you can go you can go ahead and attend those programs so this is basically how this apprenticeship works okay as seen on the screen a nursing degree apprentice will work and study towards a level six nursing degree so basically after this program you become a registered nurse and you'll be working with level six no more level four or level five you will just they will catapult you to level six this is amazing okay i so much love this opportunity i will still share my screen and show you the you know the processes and the steps involved okay it's not necessarily going to last for four years there are some qualifications that if you have it can be less than four years so that's it now the second way you can progress in your you know to a nursing career is what they call the nursing associate okay so as seen on the screen nursing associates carry out some of the tasks currently performed by graduate registered nurses but they will not be a substitute for graduate registered nurses so the introduction of nursing associates should free up registered nurses time so they can concentrate on more complex tasks okay so as from being a nursing associate you can actually progress into being a registered nurse but the two of them are not the same so quickly let's look at the steps involved so first of all you check your eligibility you can see they said anyone can become an apprentice nurse providing they meet the entry requirements and you can be able to you know prove to your employer that you are capable of the academic learning of becoming a re registered nurse okay so guys this is just it anyone can become that so the second step is applying for an apprenticeship so once you are eligible your employer will go ahead and apply for you as usual so if you're already in the health and care setting all you need to do is to talk to your employer okay once you arrive uk or you are working already in uk in the health sector talk to your employer that you are interested and they will enroll you okay guys the third step is 
becoming a registered nurse after four years okay so after you have been registered you commence your trainings okay so once you are done like i said initially it lasts for four years but then there are some conditions if you have some qualifications before now it can be less than four years you can see that so after your trainings you become registered nurse okay they also went ahead to tell us funding okay the funding for the nursing degree apprenticeship that the, the funding that the nursing degree apprentice won't have to pay anything themselves that the cost of apprenticeship will be paid by your employers guys you can see where i got to know that it's fully funded your employers will be the one to pay so so most of the employers okay registered as what they call the levy fee so if your employer actually registered and pay for that levy fee they can actually sponsor you now the fifth step is nursing associate and nursing degree apprenticeship so so that's saying you can progress from being a nursing associate to nursing degree apprenticeship okay and then a nursing associate will work and study towards a level five qualification while a nursing degree apprentice will work and study towards a level six nursing degree okay so guys this is just the summary of the steps involved in this career progression so guys let's quickly go to benefits of working as a health worker or whether healthcare assistant or nurse or whichever profession that falls within the health sector okay so the first benefit is that you won't be paying for health surcharge okay guys you can agree with me that health surcharge in fact is one of the most expensive fee you pay whenever you are applying for visa visa fees are quite you know less expensive com compared to health surcharge and health surcharge you are paying per year so if you are coming with three years visa you multiply it by three years if you are coming with five years you are multiplied by so some of the health surcharge are like 600 pounds and above okay depending on the visa you are coming with so if you are coming with five years multiply 600 times five you know it's over three thousand pounds so guys that's why I, if you are coming with the health and care worker visa you won't be paying health surcharge so this is one of the benefits of being a health worker so the second benefit is career progression so like we have seen you can actually progress from being a healthcare assistant to being a registered nurse in the uk working with band six wow that's amazing okay so now let's go straight to the third benefit which i call flexibility guys you agree with me working in the health sector gives you some form of flexibility okay you can actually maximize your agency or your organization working style and fit it to suit your personal need or other activities you do or any other business guys if you are a family you know person you are a mom or you are a dad of course you have family commitment so you can actually pick shifts based on your availability and all that then if you are a student okay it's also good you can actually pick shifts when you are less busy with your studies so flexibility is one of the benefits so the fourth benefit is that it gives you the opportunity to make a difference in people's life you can agree with me as a health worker you are working with people that are vulnerable people that are sick people that are aged and all that they depend on you for your support okay so that they can you know actually live their life so guys basically you're going to make a great difference especially if you do your work well okay those people will never will never forget you in their life so this is one of the benefits the fifth benefit is it helps you to grow your network guys you will be working with you know team members and other carers so you meet you tend to meet many people and all that so it's going to go a long way in growing your network and you also give out to the community where you work the sixth benefit is the free trainings you are going to get okay so some of these organizations are going to train you even after you have trainings or experience they will still train you both clinical and non-clinical trainings so basically these trainings are going to help you not just within your you know work work settings it's also going to help you outside your work settings in your home some of these trainings that you have learned the first aid safety handling and all that all those trainings that are going to you know eventually go a long way basic life support you can use it and help your family and friends that people that are around you that actually need this help okay so these trainings are for free so free trainings is one of the benefits you are going to get as a health worker okay guys you also have other benefits like 
free cars you can go to restaurants and high street and get things for free free of charge or a discount rate these are some of the benefits or incentives you are going to benefit from your agency or your organization you can also agree with me that in most jobs they advertise you know job benefits or the things they are going to benefit and you will see things like this and um, blue light cards even pension scheme okay even some organization they give holiday annual leave 28 days or 30 days you go for holiday then some companies also pay for your sick your sick pay they take care of you even maternity and paternity leave okay some organization and agency actually granted to their employer so there are so many lots of benefit you're going to get as a health worker in the uk okay so guys if there's anyone i'm forgetting leave it in the comment section okay guys don't forget to like this video okay as usual hit the like button so that youtube will tend to push out my video and to encourage me going to be rounding up this video these are some of the benefits you can get working in the uk in, as a health worker okay so guys definitely i will be coming up with more job opportunities and all that in fact something great is going to happen here but then i will wait till everything has been concluded okay so if you are here to join us please click the subscribe button you can as well turn on post notification bell so once i drop my videos you will be the first to get notified okay so guys don't forget to share this video so that people will benefit from it with that i've come to the end of today's video Thank you so much for watching. I pray that this year will be your year of breakthrough. If you are applying from outside UK, you will definitely land a job that will give you sponsorship and you will travel to UK this year. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.